hello, it's me. Um, just wanted to do a, do a little quick video today uh, because I have to work out and I wanted to do a little rant, not rant, rave. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, about um, the Duran concert I went to last Friday. I went to Duran concert last Friday. Shocker, I know, because I just mentioned it. Um, and it was... I mean, I don't really like driving into uh, Washington because it's... I don't like driving a long way. I didn't drive, so that was good because whatever. Um, because I would have got lost because I get lost from the kids' school, which is down the road. And they've all, well, not all been to it because Oliver's still in middle school. But yeah, I got lost getting out of the high school once because I, I'm good with directions. Anyway, um, we went to the concert and uh, there were three bands. There was the first one called Shamir and I thought... The whole time we were listening, I thought it was a woman. And the uh, backup singer had two microphones. The one where she sounded like herself, a woman. And then the other one where she sounded like a man. V very, very deep voice. But anyway, the lead singer sounded very feminine. And um, had a very short haircut. I just thought it was a woman. <sighs> anyway, um... And every time I heard a man, I thought, oh, there's a man out there somewhere singing in, in the group. And it was the lady that was obviously a lady. I don't know. I mean, we weren't that, we were quite close to the stage. Um, <laughs> I couldn't tell because she sounded, he sounded so good. And it was really good, actually. Um, they're based in Las Vegas, but they're touring with Duran Duran. And then the other band was... Um, Niall Rogers with Chic, uh, and um, it was 70s music, and I thought, oh, well, give me a good chance to nap, because I'm not into 70s music, and uh, it was so disco-y, and oh, the place was kind of half empty, and I thought, oh, this is really um, weird, and then it, it started to fill up, and then it was uh, with the second band, though the first band was better. And so, so we're sitting there and and we're uh, listening to the music and then he starts talking about his cancer experience and I thought, and I started to cry because I thought, you know, I can't even freaking go to a concert. I've been to some concerts in my time and shows and live shows and, you know, theatre and all that. Never once has it been mentioned. So I'm sitting there and I started to cry and I thought, this is, I can't even switch the channel or switch off the, the TV. Or, or or stop reading the article or whatever. I had to, I was sitting there and anyway uh, and then towards the end of the, that um, set and when they did a tribute to David Bowie and, I, and and I'm going to say this because I'm burying my head in the sand. I don't know what he died of, but I'm assuming it was cancer because several people have uh, celebrities have died of cancer since my diagnosis and and I'm thinking of cancer. I just don't read the news. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, and so he did a tribute to David Bowie, and then Duran Duran came out, and they look so old, but they were amazing. Um, age has nothing to do with their their ability to sing and to perform. And um, Simon Le Bon is going to be fifty eight this year, and he was running around the stage. He wasn't missing any notes. Um, which is, you know, more than I can say for a lot of performers these days. <laughs> they walk five steps and they're out of breath and, and they can't hold a note. He was doing fantastically well. It was an amazing concert. I thought they weren't going to sing my favourite song at the end when they came out for the con uh, encore, they did. And then uh, before that they would sang uh, Save a Prayer and dedicated it to the people who died in the uh, concert in, in Paris. Um, and everybody had to hold up the, up the phones with their little lights on and stuff, and it was so, um, it was great. A lot of people did it. The only people who didn't do it, probably the people who um, don't have phones with lights. But there was one thing that I noticed which I thought was obscenely disrespectful and rude. Other than the idiot to my left, who was, uh, I think he was an Argentinian man, starts talking and pulls out all these signed CD sleeves, um, autograph CD sleeves and starts jabbering on to anybody who will listen to him about his fanboy ways um, and then 
during the concert, he was singing really loudly in my ear. And I thought, I, I didn't come here, and we didn't pay the money for these tickets to come and listen to somebody else singing, regardless of whether he sounded good or not. Um, he was singing, and I did not want to hear his voice. And it was annoying. Um, and so eventually, uh, Wade, who was on my right, kind of manoeuvred us so that he was on the um, left, and I was... Um, because then everybody was dancing and so we were all standing up and dancing and it was cool and we were all dancing. The whole time, two hours of Duran and we were all dancing and it was great and I'm so glad I'd worn my Skechers Shape Up boots. I love, I've got to say this, I love Skechers Shape Ups and I hate that because of the litigious country in which I live now, they stopped making Skechers Shape Ups because people honestly thought what it said on the box, and I have some of the original boxes because I bought several pairs and I've actually worn through several pairs because that's how much walking I do on my treadmill. Um, they thought that the advertising which said you'll get in shape and all that by wearing these things meant that all you had to do was plop your fat feet in the freaking shoes and that's all you had to do to lose weight. Well, I'll tell you this now. Nobody's going to lose weight doing that. I didn't you're not going to, you have to wear them and then do something. And because of people like that sewing sketches, they stopped making these freaking fantastic shoes. And I hate the fact that I have to now spend $150 for a pair of $60 shoes because they stopped making them. And I think sketches have brought out a very similar um, type of shoe, but called it something else. But anyway, I was wearing my uh, original a sketches leather boots and I was glad because we were dancing for two hours and it was fun <clears throat> but yes Wade bought me the program and a t-shirt which uh, I have in the laundry and this is the program and it was huge parking was $40 I don't know how much this program was he didn't tell me um, but I haven't even looked at it but I mean come on they, they look good, but, but they really shouldn't have smoked and had, had so much alcohol because really it's ruined their skin. I like these pictures. Oh, the, um, the thingy look, smells good. <clears throat> so I've been making um, more braces. I'm going to show you in a minute. But tomorrow I've got my appointment with Dr. Felody. I'm sure he's going to, to, to punish me for breaking my boob. Um, I've had to wear a support 24 hours a day, except for when I'm in the shower. And that pisses me off because I was thinking, you know, I haven't gone through all this and haven't gone through weeks of not wearing support and having lost my breasts. I hate that I'm wearing support now because I don't want to be wearing support. But, you know, actually, this one, the one that had cancer in it, this much cancer in it. Um, this one actually, even though at the beginning I thought it looked worse, uh, the, 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 the thingy, actually looks better than this one. They look so fake. I mean, look at that cleavage. That looks so. F oh, you know what? I've noticed. I can do. I can do that like that thing where where you do one muscle and then the other. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Stop it! Um. So, but this one has slipped down a little bit, and it's really swollen underneath, so it looks much bigger. <clears throat> and um. But anyway, I've got to see him tomorrow, and I'm going to see the ENT uh, doctor about my eustachian tube because it's not bugging me as much because of that stuff I've been putting the um, tea tree oil um, but there's the little like tinny echoey thing that's and I just want to make sure it's alright and then Thursday Holly has a pre up Friday she has her uh, wisdom teeth out and then next week I've got my left eye and then two weeks later I've got the right eye and then two days after that I got the boobies I am so looking forward to getting these <laughs> these things taken out um, because I just I mean this one doesn't bother me I don't really other than when I bump into things and it breaks a rib <clears throat> uh, it doesn't bother me but this side bugs the shit out of me because it's so pokey at the side and it um, it just doesn't feel natural underneath it feels like it's really like the swelling or something I got to stop saying like uh, the swelling and everything is making it feel like it's gone down and I think he's just really gonna have to rebuild the pocket but higher um, because I don't want to have it uh, 
there's no crease basically on this one there's a little bit of a crease on the left one but there's no crease on this one the left one with an implant I mean they should both eventually with an implant have a crease uh, because the implants settle these things don't settle because they're sewn into my body the actual expanders have been sewn onto my ribs and onto my chest wall <coughs> and underneath the muscle anyway I'll show you the bracelets I've made don't know if I've shown you these before I think I have but I'm going to show you them anyway oh I have shown you some of them I showed you the breast cancer ones um, I made this one which is a pink something with grey can you see it can you see it my nails were done on Sunday uh, then I did um, <coughs> is that the same colour grey yeah grey and purple and then I did the I think this is the one I wore to Dur Duran I wore this one and this one then um, this is a different type of stitch I think I showed you this I don't think I've, sh I've really I did this one last night and this is called dragon's tooth I think I don't know what it's called oh no it's the shark shark something bite or something I don't know what it's called that's that one and I also got these little disco balls which I, I wore on Sat on Friday to the concert and at the 70s thing I was going oh this is really gonna fit in with the ooh, 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 ooh. Um, <clears throat> so I bought some more of those to make myself a necklace and in that color and the bigger ones but I'm not impressed with any of these I like the one the ball that's on here these all seem like shitty versions of that so I've got to see if I can buy some better ones so that's about it um, I'm really 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 enjoying the whole paracording thing um, and I'm making um, quite a few things and um, and I'm really going to get into making more of them when I've had um, well I actually <laughs> I'm enjoying it now so um, I think that I might end up setting up an Epsi, Etsy store uh, because I really enjoy it and there's so many that I'm probably going to have too many this is actually too small for me this is um, I made it too small because I, I was trying to figure out the lengths when you actually for these types of things you have to sort of um, weld two colors together and so uh, I was trying to see how I could do it without wasting so much because I was wasting a lot of well, you don't waste because you can end up gluing them, well, not gluing, but melting them together. Um, so, uh, I made this a little bit too small. I re-strung it, re-knotted it three times and thought, you know, I'd already cut it, so that's for a child size one. But I think I'll make, um, I might just start doing an Etsy, putting them on Etsy, and if they sell, they sell. If they don't, I'll just have lots. I'll make sure they're in my size. Um, I don't mind having lots because I like them. And I don't mind wearing them. And of course, I've still got my trusty this. Yesterday, I, um, I heard... This is the thing that, that kind of bugs me a little bit. Yesterday, I found out from Oliver... I was... Oh, doing my roots. Not my roots. I did all my hair yesterday because the roots... I thought I had to redo the whole lot. Um, because I'm going to do it one more time before my, my um, breast surgery. And I w might not be able to see properly. So, um, I wanted to do it all. Um, I just hate the whole roots thing. I can't have roots. And then it was fading a little bit. Oh, Holly's hairdresser. She went to a new hairdresser in an actual salon instead of where her dad usually takes her. And they said, don't use box uh, dyes because they, it ruins your hair. Um, and I thought, you know, for people like me who hate scraggly nails and chipped nail varnish, I don't wear makeup, but I'm really like, anal about having my nails look good and my hair not have roots and because my hair is so much darker than this um it shows i mean the roots show um probably more to me <laughs> than to other people but i don't like having the roots showing so the, the 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 lady said um you should always have it done professionally and i thought it took me three boxes just to do like as much of my hair as i could be asked i could have used another box probably to to have it totally wet saturated um, but when I do my roots I do them every three weeks and if I had to spend 
like a hundred and something dollars to do my roots alone. One time when I had shorter hair, I was quoted over two hundred dollars to do my hair highlights. Uh, I thought, no, we couldn't afford it. So I mean, who can afford to do that unless you're a freaking celebrity, a famous rich celebrity? Um, am I pronouncing that correctly? Right? think so. Uh, anyway, so I thought, no, I'm sorry, but I will start putting hair masks on if I feel my hair looks like shit. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I was doing my roots yesterday, no, I mean my hair yesterday, and Oliver was in the bathroom, and he, he said, um, one of the teachers in his, uh, in the front office at school died, and I said, oh, really? Um, and he said, yeah. Um, and I said, oh, what did she die of? I said, oh, no, no, don't tell me. I'm, I'm sure she died of cancer. And he said, well, actually, and I thought, oh, great. And so I went downstairs <coughs> with dye on half my hair. And I said to the other two kids, um, did someone in, Billy's, in Binky's school die of, um, Oliver's school die of cancer? And they said, Holly said, oh, shit. So she runs upstairs, has a go at Oliver. <laughs> And I thought, okay, so she did die of cancer. So I said, okay, went back down. When Holly went down, I said, uh, did you all know about this? I'm going to write to the school. I, I said, you know, there are kids in that school who have parents who have cancer and who might have parents who have cancer who are very sick or who might have parents who have cancer who are going through treatments and fighting it or who have parents who have cancer and are telling their children that they're going to be okay because like in my situation because um, I've been told that it's gone and stuff like that um, that it was minute that was very slow blah 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 whatever reason I said how dare the school tell? I mean, it's one thing telling them that she had passed away, but it's a completely different thing. Say somebody has told, some parent has told their child that they're going to be well, knowing full well that they're not, and this child, or even if they aren't going to, 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 to you know, pass away from it, even if they are going to be fine, what if they, their child suddenly th thinks, well, maybe because somebody else has died of this, maybe my parent isn't going to, to be fine, and maybe they're lying to me and, 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 and stuff. I mean, why, why do they have to tell them? And then, they, uh, uh, so, I, so I, I said to the children, I'm going to phone the school and, and, and or, or write to the school and, and, and ask them what the hell's going on. And so I called Wade, and I said, um... Did you know that somebody in the school um, died of cancer? And he said, yes. And I said, oh. He says, uh, how did you find out? So I told him. He says, well, we, I, I found out on Friday. Uh, they got an email or something. And then I, um, and it, then I think she was, like, really sick. And then on the weekend, on Sunday, I guess she might have passed away on Sunday. And, um, and he said, um. And I told the children about it, and I told them not to tell you. And I thought, okay, wait, wait. So everybody knows about this. So everybody's keeping all this stuff hush hush because mummy's in a delicate state right now. Um, at the end of the day, I found out, and and it really made me mad. And then it made me really sad because this poor woman was taken before her time, and. It made me think, what the hell am I doing? I mean, am I deluding myself into thinking that, that, that I'm going to be fine? Or is this the thing just going to freaking... I talk to people who are years out from their diagnosis, who have been... I don't know if the word is cure or su are survivors, and I don't like that word, survivor. I mean, I, everybody wants to survive it, but I just don't... I don't know if it's jinxing is I don't know or remission used to be the word they used I don't know if they use it now Niall Rogers the guy from uh, Chic said that he found out in 2011 he had aggressive prostate uh, he had aggressive ca cancer I looked it up when we got home he had aggressive prostate cancer in 2013 he was um, he was told that he was clear um, or he announced it then um, 
and this is, you know, five years later, he's out on the stage, he's in his late 60s, he's all mid-60s, and he's bouncing around on the stage, all like that. Good for him. But what the school did, I think, was unnecessary. They should have just said, she passed away. Because I don't want my child now thinking, you know, what happens? And it really, and, and, and it did, it totally made me think, why am I going through this bullshit reconstruction, going through this bullshit with my rock boobs, if it's not going to, at the end of the day, it's not going to make a difference, or is it going to make a difference? So it makes you doubt, because if I'm doubting at five months out, and people are still doubting at seven years out and ten years out, when do you stop? Are you always, always going to fear it? And now I'm thinking, you know what? This poor woman died of ovarian cancer. How do we know that, that it's not in, 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 in you know, a, a, a woman with, who survived breast cancer or who is surviving breast cancer or who's in remission, how do we know that this woman's not going to get it somewhere else? Um, so I'm thinking, should I maybe get a scan? I mean, I, uh, apparently my insurance isn't going to pay for it, but should I pay for it? I mean, maybe I should pay for it. <sighs> anyway, that's my rant and my bracelets. And I sent Holly and Billy a... Um... Have I already mentioned this? Now I'm having freaking senile mind. A video about uh, pranking Hol uh, a, a girl on um, the day she got her wisdom teeth out because she had, she was high on the medication, and so Holly's now all suspicious that we're going to prank her. It was just funny. Um, I thought it was funny. Um, and now, and I thought it was the thing that was funnier it was Holly's reaction and her thinking that we were going to prank her, and sending me all these abusive texts that I thought was pretty funny. So anyway, that's it for today. I might do another one this week, although I don't think so, um, but I'll probably do another one before my eye next week. So in the meantime, I hope you're having a nice week, thumbs up the video if you liked it, subscribe, blah blah blah, blee blee blee, uh, have a good rest of the week, and I will see you, like it if you like the hair colour. <laughs> I'll see you next time, bye.